Ba bomb! Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with a new segment I like to offer called Outrider News. Today, Games Workshop and Fantasy Flight Games get a divorce. I will read you the following news release from Fantasy Flight Games. Beginning February 28th, 2017, Fantasy Flight Games will no longer offer for sale any games in conjunction with Games Workshop, including Talisman, and all games taking place in the Warhammer Fantasy and Warhammer 40,000 universes. What is the time frame for the conclusion of this business relationship? All upcoming products for Games Workshop licensed games have already been announced and will be released in upcoming months. All Games Workshop licensed product lines will leave the Fantasy Flight Games catalog on February 28th, 2017. The full list of product lines leaving the Fantasy Flight Games catalog is as follows. Black Crusade Blood Bowl Team Manager Chaos in the Old World Chaos Marauders, Dark Heresy, Dark Heresy 2nd Edition, Death Watch, Forbidden Stars, Fury of Dracula, Only War, Relic, Rogue Trader, Space Hulk, Death Angel, Talisman, Warhammer Disc Wars, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, Warhammer Invasion, the card game, Warhammer Quest, the adventure card game, and finally, Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. What does this mean for Warhammer 40,000 Conquest Organized Play? Organized play support for Warhammer 40,000 Conquest will conclude this year at the Fantasy Flight Games World Championships. After the 2016 World Championships, there will no longer be any organized play support for Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. Is this news? It all depends on if you play any of these games. I, for one, have personally played Talisman. I think many people have played that. I've played a few games of uh, 40,000 Conquest uh, and Relic. But, um, oh, and of course, Dark Heresy. But that's it for these games. You got until February, and they disappear. Now, you may be asking yourself, why is this happening? Quite honestly, for me, it, it, it isn't really a surprise, and I'll tell you why. Because for the last 26 years, Games Workshop has been especially proud of saying that they are the most popular miniature game in the world until this year. This year, a nice little game you may have heard of called X-Wing came out. Have you heard of that game? If you have, they replaced Games Workshop as the most popular miniature game in the world. And who makes X-Wing? You got it. Fantasy Flight Games. The moment I heard that, I was immediately thinking, yeah, let, let's see how long this lasts. Well, the first thing you know is that Games Workshop uh, releases um, Death From Above and all of their new flyer rules in an emergency reaction to, to, to try to head off X-Wing. Well, that didn't work. All it did was add a, a new combat phase to 40k, which, <laughs> in my opinion, kind of breaks the game. I don't know if you've actually played it, but uh, Flyers are now a sub-meta game inside of 40k. If you play them correctly, all of the Flyer rules in the general rule book have basically been thrown out, and you have to get... Uh, uh, death from above and follow this entirely new set of rules for a standalone game in the middle of your 40k game. Uh, I, I found that out 
the hard way. Uh, when suddenly, you know, somebody pulls out their, their death from above rule book and says, oh no, these are the new rules for flyers. And I'm like, really? Uh oh, okay. <clears throat> so that's my news announcement for you. And I hope to bring more for you in, in many other games, not even just Games Workshop. So we'll see how popular this is. Until next time! Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>